Hey folks, this is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. OMG, are you gonna love this? So I got this egg from Walmart. I don't know what the heck it's made of, but it's dyeable. And we are using um, Vintage Duck Egg Blue by Dixie Bell. And this new product we're carrying by Pentart, it's called, this one's the Fine Line Crackle System. It's a two-part system. And I am just going to paint two coats of the Vintage uh, Duck Egg by Dixie Bell. It's a clay-based paint. I absolutely love this color. Oh, it's everything. I've been using a lot, a lot of it lately. Um, but this crackle is something I've never experienced before and I'm loving it and I want to crackle everything. Look at that egg just looks awesome, that color all by itself. I wish I would have grabbed some more. I grabbed two of them from Walmart. I think they were $3.99, but apparently you can dye them too. So I'm thinking about maybe staining the next one. Okay, so we're starting with Pentart Fine Crackling System Part 1. So this is kind of like, it almost smells like Elmer's glue. I can tell you from the experience that I've had so far using it, um, you don't really want to miss anywhere because you can kind of tell later on. So anybody that worked with an egg, you know, it's awkward. You kind of have to do, you can't do the whole egg at once because there's nowhere to hold it. I tried to stick a stick in the bottom, but that didn't work out. So I just did the sections at a time. You let um, the first uh, part one dry. And now we're gonna add part two. And part two um, in the fine line is actually tinted like you see there, kind of caramelish. Um, this one's a little bit more watery. And I had a hard time finding um, where I painted and where I didn't, or where I put it on and where I didn't. So I was trying to get the light right um, because it is important that you don't miss because you can tell later on. It's not a big deal. I think it just adds more character to it, but just keep in mind that you can you can tell. Um, is, and this one's a little bit more watery than the first one. The first one's more gluey. This one's more watery. Um, there's no smells uh, at all. The first one just kind of smells like Elmer's glue a little bit. And each part needs to dry in between. So I did the same thing with this. Um, did the largest, did about three quarters of the egg and then uh, turned around and did the little space where I was holding it. So there it is, part one and two applied. Can you see the crackle? You can see the crackle in the, um, the clear. It doesn't really show up until you add a darker color onto it. So in this case, I'm using DIY black wax, and this is where it all pops. So you must have some type of contrasting color in order to make the fine line crackles stick out. Look at that, I slowed it down for the close up and it is amazing. We haven't even wiped it off yet, but look at that. Oh, I am in love. So it's a really a top crackle. It's not cracking anything underneath or your paint, it's cracking the surface. Look at that. It's absolutely incredible. This is the fine line crackle. We do have it on our website. I'm so excited at scrappiesrustics.com. There's also another one called Classic Crackle, which gives you much more smaller uh, and closer together crackles. This one is called the Fine Line Crackle. So there is a difference. You would think it would be the opposite because it's confusing the name. It confused me anyways. So uh, down the line, we're gonna try like maybe a dark object and do the um, crackle on it and maybe do like a white wax to see how that goes or maybe a gold, but look at that crackle. It's really unbelievable. You can put this over anything and it, this also seals everything. It is shiny, which I'm not a big fan of shiny, but I think in this case I can forgive it and, <laughs> and I could be okay with the shiny, um, but it seals your project as well. Um, you can do it over a de piece of decoupage paper, pretty much anything. Anything you can put this on, you can crackle. Um, keep in mind this fine line because part two is, I can't tell you how many times I dropped that egg. Part two um, has the little brown to it, so it does change the color of your stuff where the other one doesn't. Now you can kind of see it's a little blotchy here and there. I pointed to the little spot a little while ago, um, and that's because I missed with one of the two parts, but it's really not that big of a deal. 
but you can see where it's a little blotchy and not uh, the perfect crackle. So right there, it looks like I missed with the wax or something, so I just went back in on it. And this is just black wax um, DIY. You can use if you've got you know different types of furniture wax. Um, the couple of wax kits I've showed you, any of that will work. And I just think this egg is awesome all by itself. The color is awesome. The crackle is awesome. I'm just in love with it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this inspires you to get get to crackling yourself because it's really truly amazing. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to visit scrappiesrustics.com and you got to get yourself some. There's plenty of videos out there and you know you can always message me and I'll help you. Thanks guys.